welcome students to the new video uh, in the series of discrete mathematics and uh, today we are going to talk about the laws of logical equivalence i hope by now you already have watched all the previous videos to understand this better in case if you have not watched go and watch it and then come back to this video so uh, before i uh, discuss any problem we need to understand that there are certain laws of equivalence and uh, we should remember them uh, so that when they ask these questions related to uh, that which of these are the identity laws or what do you mean by identity law or what do you mean by domination law you should be able to answer that so let us look at them one by one and let us also understand that how to remember them now if you look at this law p and true so if you are taking the composition of any uh, proposition uh, with truth uh, and if you have this and composition then it will remain p right we know that in case of and uh, the if p is true to understand this suppose i say p and true so if you take p as true then true and true will be what true and true will be equivalent to true if you take p as false then false and true will be equivalent to false so it means what that the value of the proposition is nothing but the value that p is taking so that is why p and truth will remain p and similarly p or false will be p these two laws are known as identity laws and the name is self explanatory because here the nature of this uh, proposition is not changing let us look at the new uh, next law p or truth that is true and p and false that is false so this is known as domination law this law p or p is p p and p is p is known as idempotent law and to remember this you can recall the concept that you have studied in matrices in matrices you know that if you write a square is equal to a then you call this matrix as an idempotent matrix so here also you can see that p and its composition with p is giving you p only so that is why it is uh, idempotent law this is a very popular and common law that is known as double negation law so if you take the negation of negation of p you get p and you have seen this laws in your previous classes also during the study of uh, set theory or a study of matrices etc now uh, let us look at the next law that is commutative law which is quite uh, popular and familiar that p or q is equal to uh, q or p right and p and q is equal to q and p okay next uh, the next in the series is the associative law and this you also possibly know that here we are taking p uh, or q uh, or r so uh, as you can understand that this uh, or operator follows the associative law so the brackets can be moved as per our requirement so we can also write it p or q or r right and same is true with and operator as well this is known as distributive law so in distributive law what is happening we are taking p or q and r so in this case we uh, notice that p is uh, distributing this uh, uh, like this or is distributing over and so we can write p or q and p or r right and same is true with and also this and is distributive over or so this law is known as distributive law this is quite a popular law we all might be knowing already that de morgan's law negation of p and q is equivalent to negation of p uh, or negation of q so you notice here this and is changing into or and if you take the negation of p uh, or q uh, what will happen this will be negation of p and this or will change into and and it will become negation of q this law is known as absorption law 
P or P and Q is equivalent to P and same is true with this also P and P or Q is equal to P. In case if you have any doubt that whether it will be equal to P or not, what you can quickly do and I would suggest you to pause the video, write the truth table and see that whether the truth values are coming to be same or not. If they are coming to be same, then you can be sure that yes, these two, uh, these two statements are equivalent. And finally, we have something called negation law where we take P or negation of P which is always true and P and negation of P which is always false. Okay. Next, here uh, I would suggest you to either pause the video, take a screenshot or uh, better if you can note it down. So these are some of the laws of uh, conditional statement. And in this, uh, the first two are very important, which you uh, think, uh, which I think you should remember. Yes or no? So, uh, if I look at this, P implies Q. I am writing it for uh, clarity. This is equivalent to negation of P or Q, right? And this we already have seen. How many of you remember? If you have watched the earlier video, P implies Q is equivalent to negation of P implies negation of Q. And this statement was known as contrapositive. Contrapositive of P implies Q. Right? Contrapositive or P implies Q. And we already have proved that the statement and its contraposition are equivalent of each other. Similarly, you can prove using truth table the equivalence of all these statements and I would suggest you to try to write the proof for each of them. Uh, same is true with uh, uh, biconditional as well. There are certain laws of biconditional. P if and only if Q is equivalent to P implies Q and Q implies P and P if and only if Q is also equivalent to negation of P if and only if negation of Q. And uh, these two laws are also there, which you certainly should uh, prove by using the truth table. Take a pause, uh, note down all these, all these laws and in whatever law you feel like you are uh, not convinced that whether it is equivalent or not, the best way to decide the equivalence is to write the truth table. Yes, gentlemen. Uh, next is, I am going to uh, take some examples and in the first example, I am going to prove that these two statements are logically equivalent. One way of proving the logical equivalence is to write the truth table, right? But another way of proving the logical equivalence is by using the laws of, uh, you know, logical equivalence that we already have seen, right? So let us use the law. So suppose we have the statement negation of P implies Q, right? This will be equivalent to what? This will be equivalent to negation of negation of P or Q. We know, we know that P implies Q is equivalent to this statement and this we have to use as a law. After this, we can apply something called De Morgan's law. So the first statement is negation of P. So I will write negation of negation of P. And this OR operator will become AND operator and I will write negation of Q. Finally, we will use the double complementation or double negation law. Negation of negation is uh, equal to P and AND negation of Q. So it means what? That these two statements are equivalent of each other and we have not used the truth table. Rather, we have used the laws of logical equivalence. Let us quickly see the proof of this also. So for better visibility, I am writing it here negation of P or negation of P and Q, right? And you have to prove that this is logically equivalent to this. So how to prove that? To prove that, we are going to use the laws of logical equivalence. So what is the law? Uh, I think by now you already have revised the law quite uh, a number of time. So first I am going to apply the De Morgan's law. So there is, this is the first statement and this whole statement I am taking as the second statement. So I will write negation of P and this OR will become what? This OR will become AND. And here I will write negation of 
negation of P and Q, right? Which law we, ha we have used? We have used De Morgan's law, where I have considered this as the first pro proposition and uh, this which is in the bracket as the second proposition. Now this is equivalent to what? This is equivalent to negation of P and in this also we apply the De Morgan's law. So negation of negation of P, negation of negation of P and this and again becomes or and negation of Q. So this is what we get. Next we can write this is negation of P and negation of negation of P is equal to P or negation of Q. Okay. Now at this stage uh, we are going to apply the distributive law. So this and will distribute over this or. So what I will get? I will get negation of P and P. This is the first and then we will get or negation of P and negation of Q. Right gentlemen? Now we know that negation of P and P is what? Negation of P and P is a contradiction means this is always false. So I write false or negation of P and negation of Q. Right? And false or this that law is also there will be equal to negation of P and negation of Q. And this is what we wanted to prove that these two are equivalent to each other. Okay? I think up to this uh, you don't have any doubt. If you have please pause the video, watch it again. Next thing uh, that I am going to prove that this is a tautology and to prove this as a tautology we are going to use the laws of logical equivalence. So we have the statement P and Q implies P or Q. So what is the first st uh, like uh, step that we are going to use the conditional. What is the conditional law that P implies Q is equivalent to negation of P or Q. So what this will become? This will become negation of P and Q or uh, P or Q. Right? This is the second one. So this is the second one and we are taking the negation of this. This will be equivalent to what? This will be equivalent to and here we are going to apply the De Morgan's law. So negation of P uh, or this and will become or negation of Q and here we will have P or Q. Now you see you have a or here, you have or here, you have or here and we know that or is a uh, or follows the commutative law. So we can rearrange and we can rewrite it as negation of P or P or negation of Q or Q. If you didn't understand it just uh, look at this thing. If suppose you, you have to add A plus B plus C plus D and you know that addition is a commutative process. So you can write this as what? You can write this as A plus C and plus B plus D. You can just rearrange the term. So same thing that we have done here also. Now negation of P or P is always a true statement and negation of Q or Q is also a true statement true statement or a true statement is again a true statement. So we just have proved that this uh, uh, statement or this uh, you know what you call it uh, composition is nothing but equal to a true value. So uh, this is a tautology because we know that any statement which takes always a true value is known as a tautology right. So uh, I think this is all for this video. In the next video, uh, we will take some more examples uh, to prove the logical equivalence using the different laws of proposition uh, as well as how to prove uh, that a statement is a tautology or a contradiction given that you don't have to use the truth table. Truth table is one of the uh, fundamental way of proving the logical equivalence but logical equivalence can also be proved by using the laws, right? So thank you, keep watching.